Social Security Recipients What would you do with an extra $200 in your pocket every single month? Well, hold on to your hats, because that might just become a reality. The Social Security Administration has dropped a bombshell announcement that could change the game for millions of Americans. We're talking about a potential $200 monthly boost to your Social Security, SSDI, or SSI payments. Yes, you heard that right, $200 more every month. Stick around as we dive into the details of this groundbreaking proposal that could put an extra $2,400 a year in your bank account. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. Breaking down the announcement. All right, let's start by breaking down exactly what the Social Security Administration, SSA, has announced. In a surprising move, the SSA has proposed a $200 monthly increase to payments for recipients of Social Security, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Supplemental Security Income, SSI. This boost is intended to help beneficiaries cope with rising living costs and inflation. Now, I know what you're thinking, this sounds almost too good to be true. And you're right to be cautious. We've seen proposals like this before, that didn't pan out. But this time, there's some real momentum behind it. The SSA is taking this seriously, and there's bipartisan support in Congress. Of course, nothing is set in stone yet, but the prospects are looking better than ever. To put this into perspective, we're talking about potentially impacting over 70 million Americans. That's more than one in five people in the country. The reach of this proposal is truly staggering. First, inflation has been hitting hard. We've all felt it at the grocery store, at the gas pump, and pretty much everywhere else. For those on fixed incomes, like many Social Security recipients, this has been especially challenging. Second, there's growing recognition that the current benefit levels aren't keeping up with the real cost of living for many Americans. The SSA's annual cost of living adjustments, COLAs, have helped but many argue they're not enough. Lastly, there's been increasing political pressure to address the financial struggles of seniors and disabled Americans. With an election year coming up, both parties are keen to show they're taking action on this issue. Currently, the average monthly Social Security benefit is about $1,700. An extra $200 would represent nearly a 12% increase. For someone receiving SSI where the maximum federal benefit is $914 per month for an individual in 2023, a $200 boost would be a whooping 22% increase. Over the course of a year, we're talking about an additional $2,400. That could make a huge difference in many people's lives covering several months of groceries, helping with rising healthcare costs, or providing a bit of a financial cushion. This boost wouldn't just benefit individual recipients, it could have a significant impact on the broader economy. When people have more money in their pockets, they tend to spend more. This increased spending can stimulate economic growth. Economists estimate that every dollar given to low-income individuals generates about $1.70 in economic activity. If we apply this multiplier effect to the proposed boost, we're looking at potentially billions of dollars of additional economic activity. Moreover, this extra income could help reduce reliance on other forms of public assistance, potentially offsetting some of the costs of the program. Of course, the big question is, how would this be funded? The SSA and lawmakers are considering several options. Adjusting the payroll tax cap, currently, Social Security taxes only apply to the first $160,200 of earnings. Raising or eliminating this cap could generate significant additional revenue. Increasing the payroll tax rate, this would mean a small increase in the percentage of wages that workers and employers pay into Social Security. It's important to note that any changes to Social Security's funding structure would require careful consideration and likely face some opposition. But proponents argue that the benefits to millions of Americans make it worth tackling these challenges. Realistically, we're looking at a process that could take several months, possibly even stretching into next year. But if approved, 
the boost could be retroactive, meaning beneficiaries might receive back payments for the months between approval and implementation. Potential Challenges and Opposition As with any major policy change, this proposal faces some challenges and opposition. Some critics argue that it could accelerate the depletion of the Social Security Trust Funds. Others worry about the impact on the federal deficit. There are also concerns about fairness. Some argue that a flat $200 boost disproportionately benefits those with lower payments, while others contend that it doesn't do enough for those with the highest needs. These are valid concerns that will need to be addressed as the proposal moves forward. But supporters argue that the urgent need to support vulnerable Americans outweighs these potential drawbacks. For retirees, this could provide a much-needed cushion, helping to cover rising health care costs, or allowing for some extra comforts in retirement. For disabled workers, the boost could help offset the often high costs associated with managing disabilities, from medical equipment to specialized transportation. For SSI recipients, this increase could be truly life-changing, potentially lifting many out of poverty or closer to the poverty line. For younger workers, while not directly benefiting, they could see this as an investment in a more secure future knowing that a stronger social security system will be there when they need it. To truly appreciate the significance of this proposal, it's worth looking at it in historical context. The last time we saw a comparable boost to social security was in the 1970s when benefits were increased by 20% across the board. Since then, we've relied on the annual cost of living adjustments to keep benefits in line with inflation. But many argue that these adjustments haven't kept pace with the real increases in cost of living, especially for seniors and people with disabilities. This $200 boost proposal represents a recognition that more dramatic action is needed to ensure the financial security of some of our most vulnerable citizens. Preparing for potential changes, while we wait to see if and when this boost becomes reality, there are steps current and future beneficiaries can take to prepare Stay informed. Keep an eye on news from the SSA and Congress about the progress of this proposal. Review your budget. Think about how an extra $200 a month could impact your financial situation. Consider long-term planning. If the boost does happen, think about how you might use it to improve your long-term financial security. Regardless of whether this specific proposal becomes law, it's clear that the discussion around strengthening our social safety net isn't going away. As our population ages and we face new economic challenges, finding sustainable ways to support vulnerable Americans will remain a crucial policy issue. And there you have it, folks, a comprehensive look at the SSA's announcement of a potential $200 monthly boost to Social Security, SSDI, and SSI payments. This is a developing story, and we'll certainly be keeping a close eye on it in the coming months. Remember, while this news is exciting, it's not a done deal yet. There's still a long road ahead before this proposal could become reality. But it's a promising sign that policymakers are taking seriously the financial challenges faced by millions of Americans. What do you think about this potential boost? How would an extra $200 a month impact your life or the lives of your loved ones? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more updates on Social Security and other important financial news. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on this developing story. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.